Hello there. In this video today, I'll be going over doing a diesel trans flush in a manual transmission. Our subject today is a NV5600 in a Dodge Ram. However, I have done this trick to a Subaru 5-speed trans transmission, a Volkswagen 5-speed transmission, about four NV5600s, two G56s, and like six NV4500s. It's always done a good noticeable difference. I've had other people do this as well. Um, if your trans ships good, but it's like a little kind of slow to get into gear, or sometimes you find it, you go to put it in gear and it just, it just doesn't do anything. It's not grinding, but it's just kind of having trouble getting in. That's what this truck was doing. And I'm going to do a diesel flush to it. We'll have a video of driving it before I do the flush and after the flush to show how it's improved. Um, so first off, I'm going to show, uh, show you what goes on in the transmission with the synchronizers and kind of how they work and why a diesel flush can help the transmission work better. And but before we get into that, please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy content like this or leave a comment about uh, some things you'd like to see. Uh, anyways, let's get to her. So here's a brief kind of description of what's happening in your transmission when it gets all gummed up with the old fluid. I'm going to assume you don't, uh, nothing about a manual transmission, so I'll try to keep this kind of brief and easy. Um, here's your gears, here's the main shaft of the transmission. Uh, these gears spin freely on the tra trans main shaft until this collar goes over and locks the gear to the shaft, and that's what puts it in gear. Um, these gears have a, uh, a rounded kind of ring, kind of like the, this surface, let's say, and as you push your slider in, the synchro pushes against uh, that material, uh, which the synchro is this, and it has the fibrous material on the inside, and that, uh, this gear spins and it stops it and, and makes this gear go to the same speed as the main shaft. So, uh, this is a bad synchronizer here because it's not doing anything when I spin it. And then here's a good synchronizer. Can... Should a little too quick here. So it's in gear. Spin the gear. And then I push, and then now I can't, I can't spin the gear now, because um, the fibrous material is pushing against that ring on the gear. So, uh, because this is a kind of friction material on these synchronizers, uh, they'll get gummed up with old fluid, and uh, it's kind of like it's not able to grab as well as it could. Um, so the idea behind the diesel flush is the uh, diesel will break down any of that old oil and sconge and uh, help clean this out so it looks you know, nice and clean. And then now from there it will be allowed, uh, be able to grab the gear better and get a nice strong hold and help it get into the next gear. All right, I'm going to try my best to illustrate how this trans shifts um, as a good before video. So it's a NV5600 and... Uh, Second gear goes in nice from a stop. Um, won't go into third, kind of goes into fourth. And, uh, I don't really like six. <clears throat> Second to reverse, to get reverse. This is just, I think it's just a South Bend single disc. So we'll drive down the road a little here. So third shift's nice if I go pretty quick for it. Now fourth, go to fourth, and it's kind of chonky, kind of fights me to go into gear. Go to fifth. It's pretty good so long as you're kind of going quick with the shifts. Now say I want to go back down to fourth now. It, it does not want to go into fourth. I have to kind of double clutch it, so rev it up, and then back into clutch out. And four. Now let's go to five, but I'll go slow with it. It kind of goes into it, but it's kind of like, it's got a little bit of a cl uh, clunk to it. Like it's not going smooth. Let's go to third here, doing about uh, 30. Does not like third, it does, not grinding though. So I uh, clutch out, clutch in, and then it kind of pops into it, but it's, it's really not liking it. Like, you know, just rolling here not going to third. It goes into fourth, but it's going too slow for that. So, let's see if we can fix this third here. There we go. Really doesn't like third. So, 
you get the idea. It's a good baseline. And uh, let's uh, get it back to the shop here. Got the fluid draining out here. Um, truck's kind of already warm, so it's flowing pretty nice. Uh, usually they're kind of like a clear golden color. This one's looking pretty brown, so maybe it's a different type of fluid, but uh, I'll get a little cup and we'll see how it looks. So while the trans is draining, you can go and expose wherever you want to fill the trans up from. So if you have like a front wheel drive car, you're not going to be able to do this. But uh, in this uh, Dodge truck and most rear wheel drive vehicles, you can load it from the shifter as we'll be putting in more than the trans will take for fluid. So uh, this trans takes five liters and typically do a liter overfill. So six, and then I'll probably put in about anywhere from six to eight liters. Um, I typically just look so the uh, fluids about halfway up the main shaft here uh, you also don't really need to worry about draining all the fluid out of it as you're going to be draining the diesel fuel out uh, afterwards anyways so here we've got the fluid from the truck it's like a nasty kind of brown so obviously kind of got some mileage on it and some wear and then here's just a sample of the uh, fluid I'll be using uh, of course nice and clean and clear and later in the video after I do the flush I'll take a sample of the uh, diesel fuel that comes out of the trans now, I know this is a red jerry can but there is in fact diesel in this so uh, take your funnel top your trans just stuff in there kind of hard to do these things with only two hands here so. you can kind of see I've got it about uh, halfway up the main shaft here. Now you can fire it up and leave this open and then kind of take a look inside or you can put the shift tower on and then you can kind of roll through the gears a little bit. So I'm going to be putting the shift tower on. So we're in the truck right now. The shifter is on. The diesel fuel is inside the trans. We're going to fire it up. Let it idle. And uh, well, ignore that. That's just a feature of the truck here. But uh, Clutch not engaged, trans just sitting here in neutral. You're gonna give it a good minute. And then after a minute, um, shut it off, roll through your gears. And then in another minute, uh, fire it up, let it run for a minute there. And then shut it off, repeat, shift through the gears. And then after you've done all this, uh, you can fire it up just just lightly like roll through the gears while it's sitting here at idle so i've let it idle for a bit and it's been going lightly through the gears with the clutch pedal still engaged try to go first here second and just kind of rolling it back and forth lightly because there's uh some uh rods that kind of run back and forth that the uh synchros are connected to so you kind of want to make sure that those are cycled and it's a feature and uh, <clears throat> that those are cycled and any kind of scunge that's holding uh, them can kind of get out of there so three and four back and forth one two I've ran this for long enough now, it should be good to shut off and drain. When you're positioning the drain pan for uh, draining the trans, take note that this is a lot better than your uh, regular fluid, so it's gonna come out uh, a little ways away from where it was before. Um, I got the, uh, I got hit with this and it made a mess, of course. <laughs> um, I took a little sample of the uh, fluid that came out, so we'll take a look at that in a second. Here's the diesel fuel that came out of the trans. Uh, you can see it kind of has a bit of a tinge to it. I probably put in about 8 liters of diesel fuel, so it's quite diluted, but it's still quite dark even with how much it's diluted. So yours may look better or worse than this, kind of depending on the condition of your transmission. Back up top here, we've got the shift tower off, and our drink of choice in the menu is Amsoil uh, Manual Synchromess Transmission Fluid. Now, normally I run 
Redline MTL, but this was about two bucks cheaper and it was at a place that was convenient for me. So I'm going to try it out this time. I hope I don't regret it, but uh, I've heard pretty good things about Amsoil. Um, for the NV5600 and the Dodge transmissions, if you're a second gen guy, uh, typically you want to run a liter over what the recommended amount is as the rear bearing of the transmission has been known to get starved of oil. Um, so that would be six liters for the 5600 and then the 4500 the same thing you want to run an extra liter that puts you at five liters for the 4500 now for other transmissions i'm not too sure um for uh fluid choices uh, uh the 4500 i like to run redline mtl if i know it has no brass synchros in it but if it has the brass synchros in it then i run redline mt85 um and uh yeah uh even redline mtl might work for other transmissions i think i ran it in my subaru trans and my Volkswagen trans and it worked good. Back in the truck here and I've got my assistant to help me film so we're gonna I put about uh, 100 200 kilometers on it since I've done the diesel flush and we'll go through the uh, shift of the gears here so we'll start in a second. As you can see, the transmission is notably different in how well it shifts. The biggest thing I noticed was the fourth gear downshift. Trying to get that thing in the fourth before, even I had to double clutch the thing pretty well to get in the fourth, and it did not like it. Uh, if you end up doing the diesel flush, let me know if it works for you, or if it doesn't work. I'm always curious to hear of different applications and how well they work. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to the channel or other diesel related content such as building a 68 Nova with a Duramax in it. I got all sorts of cool videos here, so I hope to see you in the other ones. But that wraps it up for the video for today, so I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.